CHP is now investigating a mid-air collision over Katmai National Park and Preserve. It involved a helicopter and a float plane that happened yesterday east of King Salmon. Fortunately, everyone survived. Joe Kadat spoke with the NTSB this afternoon and joins us now with the latest on the investigation into what happened. Joe. Mike, Maria, the NTSB says all eight people on board both aircraft survived when the Bell 206L4 Long Ranger and DHC-2 Beaver float-equipped plane crashed about 800 feet above the ground on Labor Day. The NTSB says the mid-air collision happened where Lake Coville converges with the American Creek toward the northwest corner of Lake in Katmai National Park, which is about 40 miles east of King Salmon. The float plane carrying a pilot and six passengers was able to make an emergency landing in the American Creek where no one was injured. Clint Johnson, chief of NTSB's Alaska Regional Office, says the agency is in the preliminary stages of the investigation and says it appears there is damage to the back of the helicopter. The pilot of that helicopter was able to walk away from the crash after landing in tundra and tree-covered terrain. He was taken to Anchorage for medical treatment and was released with minor injuries. We want to document slash marks, either from a prop, uh, from a portion of the float, so we can better understand the way these things came together, know how they came together, work backwards from there to see if each one of these pilots were even able to see each other. The NTSB says the helicopter was returning to Homer after the completion of a job. It's unclear what mission the plane was on before the crash, but that aircraft is registered to Enchanted Lake Lodge in King Salmon. We haven't heard back from Enchanted Lake. A public relations person with Maritime Helicopters, which operates that helicopter that was involved in the crash, didn't have a further statement beyond that they're cooperating with the NTSB and FAA. Absolutely remarkable that uh, no one was seriously injured.